If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. So the AKA promo is finally now out. Let's take a look at everything. I do want to give a shout out to King Robbie for being a part of the Novi gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Notification bell on, comment down below, Novi gang. Also, we do want to say shout out to you guys that copied my Sunday NFL. Once again, another massive Sunday NFL. Between my dad and I, we had over $10,000 in wins, and I had over $4,700 in wins myself. And today, guys, we have Monday Night Football, and I have a bunch of picks up on my Twitter right now. If Derrick Henry gets a touchdown, we are instantly going to win about $1,000, so hopefully he gets in. Not just that, though. There's a lot of stuff currently going on. If you guys sign up on Underdog Fantasy right now, use the code ZERK. You'll get up to $1,000 in bonus funds, and you will get a Kyler Murray .5 yards free pick for tonight. However, However, only when you guys sign up with code Zerk, we also get this CD Lamb 0.5 yards free pick for Sunday Night Football. Tomorrow, guys, the NBA tips off. And if you guys get in right now, you have until October 27th. Every single NBA only entry that you guys make, there is a 20% profit boost token that you guys can use on literally every pick. It's unlimited. Make sure you guys get in, use code Zerk, follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I'll have a bunch of NBA posted up tomorrow. All right, so as you guys can see, AK is now live, was supposed to drop at 1.30, then they tweeted out and said it was going to be delayed, and now it is 4.30, but it is out. Also, I do want to let you guys know that earlier today, uh, there was actually a little message right here. I went over this in my video earlier today, but there was a message here showcasing that Andrew Luck is in packs, whatever, at 1.30. Obviously, it was not supposed to be there. Uh, I think it actually popped up at 2. It was like 205 or something it was there for like 20 minutes then they pulled it down obviously with a situation like that like i always tell you guys ea will not say anything for a while okay do i expect we'll get make rights there that's false advertising that's literally false advertising he was saying he was in packs he obviously was not in packs so i would hope that we do get make rights i don't know when we will don't know anything until ea tweets about it so won't have any updates until we see potentially a tweet madden nfl direct tweet at him as you guys can see though we do actually have the ltd andrew luck now in packs 88 speed 93 throw power the card looks incredible okay 88 acceleration even 87 carrying is really good 85 juke move 80 break tackle the question becomes what does he have here in terms of you know abilities let's take a look okay gunslinger instantly expected to see that for ap uh and then the question is does he get set feet lead he should be able to with him being an improviser having over 91 throw power and he doesn't get set feet lead wow they didn't give him set feet lead well he has ak gunslinger which is nice ak truss is also nice run and gun fearless identifier gutsy scrambler qb playmaker no look dead eye no set feet lead all right so no set feet lead on andrew luck obviously that does bring down his value a little bit because we do have cards like tom brady uh we have brock purdy who are able to get set feet lead set feet lead is better than gunslinger right but the question is though obviously the qbs that can get set feet lead versus andrew luck his luck is uh release is gonna be good i don't know what it is but his release is gonna be good he's got great speed he's got great throw power still able to get good abilities though like i said aka gunslinger for one ap is you know pretty nice there then if you want to run like gift wrapped on him you can do that uh because you know you, you get the x factor of gunslinger there so starts on four plays goes away the thing is though i wouldn't want to use that right because then it goes away i'd rather use like backyard qb for one ap and then just throw gunslinger on him for four the issue is though we only have four ap on offense so really in terms of what can you rock out on him i mean i guess you just you got to go with gunslinger right you throw the gunslinger on there for four ap and then you go with a normal just zero AP ability because obviously you want to go with Gunslinger and you don't want it to go away. So yeah, that, that definitely hurts his value. I would say that. Now, is he still the best quarterback in the game? Again, when you take a look at the other top QB options that are currently here, we do know we're going to get Lamar Jackson very, very soon, by the way. I will take a look at the 90 overall look in a second. Brady for only 380K is pretty good, but he's slow. And then you have the other quarterback. So, you know, I, I still would probably say... Andrew Luck is the best QB, but yeah, that, that definitely does hurt his value not getting the Sefi lead there. Doesn't make him unusable. He's still really good. 90 Andrew Luck, what does he get? 87 speed, 86 XL, 91 throw power, you know, good accuracies. The set is updated, so you can get him for free if you want to. I wouldn't blame you. He also gets Gunslinger and the same exact abilities here, but it's two AP instead. So 
yeah i mean i don't really think that changes much to be honest with you i think i would still rather get the 90 like the 90 versus the 91 it's just a little bit more speed but he doesn't get like necessarily in my opinion anything game breaking for abilities to throw on right because we only have four ap on offense you want gunslinger all the time so yeah i especially for the price i probably just get the 90 overall andrew luck then we have the best cornerback in the game denzel ward 91 speed 89 excel 90 man 90 zone 5 foot 11 he also does have a 57 block shed 74 hit power 70 tackling his abilities ak pick artist for one ap okay medium route ko deep route ko inside shade flat zone mid zone as well and then his normal abilities he does he have 77 catching let's see i don't think he does i think i went past the catching it's 77 that he needs he has 74 so you can't put pick artist on him just as a normal ability unfortunately so but still being able to get the ak pick artist whatever yeah i'd say he's the best cornerback in the game like i said guys due to the set actually being changed now you can go ahead and use it the 85 to 90 overall now can we get another free ak player i know that's what a lot of people have been asking me We've been able to get a free AKA player now for a couple of weeks. I would imagine we're going to be able to get another free one eventually. I'm going to let you guys know right now, I have my tokens, okay? I have my tokens. I'm getting my free AKA player personally, and I'm not going with Andrew Luck. I am actually going to go with Denzel Ward. I'm personally just not a fan of taking, you know, the BND quarterbacks. That's just not really my style, but I definitely want... Wait a second. Uh, okay, for a second, I was scared there. We're going to go with Denzel Ward, though. Best cornerback currently in the game. We already got some leaks, thanks to Mutt Leaks, for the most feared cornerbacks coming, by the way. I don't think any of them have 91 speed. This is the only 91 speed corner in the game. In my opinion, he's the best option. I chose Denzel. Now, take a look at the store, guys. We do have a lot of stuff here in the store. So we have this AK LTD opportunity right here. 283 pluses, 187 plus AK or 91, and you get AK token. You can see the odds on it, 30% chance of a 91. We also have this jumbo starter team bundle so you get 22 83 to 89s including 87 overall jj mccarthy darius slay tyreek hill and 87 sean t and you also get an 82 overall platinum kicker and an 82 overall platinum punter as bonus okay for 3400 points now i'm not gonna buy it because i don't need any of that but if you're just starting off your team this is probably worth it to help you go through and play like you know solo battles whatever else to work on objectives you guys can see the packs are here the offensive bnd starter team uh you get jj mccarthy you get tyree kill and then you could get this one which gives you darius slay and also sean taylor so there's that worth it if you have a brand new team i'd say yes otherwise probably not uh getting into this though we do have 283 pluses 87 plus or a ltd Hopefully we can get lucky and play Andrew Luck. That'd be incredible. We get 83 overall Marshawn. Gotta say though, you know, like I mentioned to you guys, I don't really think the LTD luck is necessarily worth it over the set one for what you can get for the value. Probably not worth it. On to the topper though, the 87 plus or 91 LTD. What are we gonna get? I don't think we got the LTD, unfortunately. Who is it? 87 Marty Lions. Yeah, that's uh that's my luck with those by the way in terms of his release guys i just found out what his release is it's over the top two which is the same as like trevor lawrence jared goff justin fields it's nothing crazy okay it's it's nothing crazy good at all but is he still the best quarterback in the game yeah i would say he's still the best qb in the game if he was able to get set feet lead especially so but he's still very good right you're probably just gonna like i mentioned you know rock out with the normal gunslinger on him and then he's still good i don't really see the value in buying the ltd over like the champ card because again the only difference in between the two cards is that yeah the ltd is a little bit faster right a little bit faster a little bit higher throw power the accuracies there's basically no difference because luck has over 90 for all of his accuracies anyways so there's like basically no difference in between the accuracies there and then the abilities there pretty much is no difference because in my opinion i'm running gunslinger for four ap on him right so all my ap is gone anyways so the one ap less for the x factor abilities is useless doesn't mean anything to me unless they make it to where it's 5 ap on offense then we're talking a little bit of a difference there because you can kind of mix in a little bit but currently we only have 4 ap on offense so there is that let's go ahead and take a look here though guys at these cards and let's see just how expensive luck actually is so we have andrew luck 589k denzel ward 690 and then we have the ltd andrew luck 1.38 see this is insane 
because look at how many Andrew Luck LTDs there are. Like, that's actually crazy. A lot of people were tweeting me with this opportunity pack pulling a ton of limiteds. I didn't get one, so I know it's not glitched. But man, there's a lot of lux up. That being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Like I said, you know, luck is definitely QB1. His release isn't crazy. You can rock out with the gunslinger on him. And pretty much this one, the LTD versus the set, you know, being double the price. I just don't see the value there. Yes, he's got really high throw power, 93. Yes, with the right strategy cards and everything, I know you can get him, I believe, the 95, which is pretty big. But is that worth that much of a difference? To me, I don't think so. But hey, it's your opinion. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it, hit that sub button down below. Make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Monday Night Football doubleheader starting up here soon. NBA tip-off tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.